Hello everyone, it's Patty Gertie, and uh, I woke up with a very strange thought, which was, let's play some Ed Sheeran. Why though? This new song, uh, Bad Habits, I really like that one, and I was really wondering, what does it sound like in a Gertie Orchestra version? I'm curious, and I'm sure you are too, so let's just try it, shall we? I'm wondering what I can start with, with a pop song like this. Since I have no idea yet how I'm going to translate all the instrumental into the Gertie, and uh, also we might have another guest instrument today, I'm probably going to start with the vocals and then just add everything underneath. Usually you would do it the other way around, but I think right now this makes the most sense. So we just have some starting point. <laughs> okay, so let me track my vocals. Since all of my stuff got flooded and I still don't have a pop filter, I will just use this. This will be my weapon of choice. First, I need to find out which BPM we're playing this in. So I have to listen to the original track right now. And I can't show you because of copyright. Sorry. Bad habits, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. I think we're at 126. Oh, it's a really good song. I like it. I need to put my put down a little uh, bass line or some chords so that I don't <laughs> sing off key. <laughs> Give me a second for that. I just laid down like three chords. I can work with that now. I think the bass is doing something else sometimes. I can still change it later. It's no problem. But uh, this is definitely a bass I can work with. And uh, let's do some singing. <laughs> and I put some lyrics here on the side so I know what to sing. <laughs> And uh, let's listen to the first verse again. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take on. I let you take on. I let you take control. Okay. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. Mm, I'm not used to singing that poppy. Singing poppy is just like super straight and correct. And lyrical is like softer, but we don't want soft here. It's pop music. Patty, sing more poppy. Just imagine in the beat. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. Every time the sun goes down, I'll let you take on. Okay, we have something. I'll edit later. Just put it here in the right order of what I sang. And let's see how we continue singing. Oh, nice. I can feel the paradise before my world implodes. Wow, my, my chest voice is a little bit too strong for pop. It's sad. Let's see if I can make it a little less... Strong, a little more young and friendly. I can feel the paradise before my world implodes. And tonight had something wonderful. Okay, let's see how he sings in the build up. Okay, so on the one, he's always getting very soft with his words, so it's like. My bad habits lead to late nights and it alone. Oh, it's such a nice song. Ah, oh, so nice. My bad habits lead to late nights and it alone. Conversations with a stranger, I barely know. Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't. I've got nothing left to lose. I use or do my bad habits lead to white eyes staring into space And I know I lose control of the things that I say I was looking for a way I know I can't escape Nothing happens after two, it's true 
It's true my bad habits lead to you. Okay, four recordings of the chorus that should do. Okay, so all the song lyrics until now I have found my favorite takes. And I forgot to record the and I have to listen to it again because I'm not sure how he sang it. And we want to be very exact with this. How do I use my computer? Ah. Okay. That was fine. My bad habits lead to you. Okay, I heard him um, bind some words that I did not sing the right way, so let me check. Okay, it's between say and I. And I know I lost control of the things that I say. I was, look I was looking for a way out. Wow, he's really very minimal in his singing. I like it. Things that I say, I was looking for a way, I know I can't escape. Okay, maybe we can just drag that in. Let's see if that works. Very nice singing, Ed Sheeran. I really, really like it. Okay, I forgot one My Bad Habits lead to you, because apparently we need to have it every two seconds. My bad habits lead to you. That's all I can do. It's okay. We will fix it in post. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, I tried analyzing the song a bit. And the most important parts are his lead guitar and a synth bass. The lead guitar is no problem to to make with a with a Gertie, but for the synthy bass, which is like it's like very rhythmy, that's a bit harder to do with my drone strings. Like I can either plug them or play them, um, but that's where our guest instrument comes in, which is an octave harpa. An octave harpa is something like a tenor nickel harpa. A nickel harpa <laughs> is a mechanical violin that some people say it's from Sweden. So it's it's known to be like a traditional sweet Swedish instrument. But nobody really knows where all those instruments come from. So let's pretend it's just Swedish, okay? <laughs> okay, apparently the instrument is too big for the camera. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's big. It's custom made, it usually has way more strings, but I wanted it in a very, very basic version. And I got it in a basic version. <laughs> you play it with a bow. And it's mainly being made for and by people that do not have breasts. And I will probably stab myself a couple of times. Have fun. Oh, I find it super hard to hear bass in general. I find it very hard to focus on because I've always been a, either a chord instrument or a lead instrument player. And of course a lead singer. So I never ever got used to really hearing bass and have to learn that now. Okay, I will probably make lots of mistakes, but this one is at least very easy to correct if I do mistakes. So let's just go. There's a 
another beige part. It's a very soft base. Um, it's in the B part of the verse. So it builds up a bit just before the beat drops. Um, yeah, and now I'm just gonna play it as if I were a cello. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for the queen of all instruments, the hurdy-gurdy. I have decided to part the lead a bit because on a guitar you can play the bass notes, like the no lower notes, a bit more quiet and then play the lead notes. A bit louder. I can't do that so much on the Gertie, so I decided to split it. I'm playing the louder, higher notes in this recording, and then doing a second recording with a lower string, adding the first bass lower notes to it. It will make sense later. <laughs> And since I know Ed Sheeran loops a lot, I will just loop this too. Okay, bass girdie. I noticed there's another lead part that is just uh, an octave higher and I'm going to add that quickly too. I sent all of the tracks to my producer and he made this song sound really big and fantastic. So all the different kinds of layers that the original song has, he added them in the sense of he added lots of percussion and also like atmospheric stuff like those swooshes and everything. So we have all of that now, thanks to him. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is I can mimic the makeup a bit. And I actually bought some makeup for that. It's very shiny. I have no idea about this and I'm just gonna do whatever I think is right. So have fun. And also before I forget, since I exactly know that so many people will ask me to do a longer version than until the chorus. I actually recorded the rest of the song too. If you want to hear the full version of this song, subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment for my YouTube algorithm. Now we have the makeup and uh, I already have the blue eyes and the red hair. Not gonna do the pink suit though, I'm gonna go for something more neutral. But uh, I think we can record a video. I'll do my bad habits lead to white eyes, staring at space, and I lose control of the